Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So actually I will talk about something maybe more known for me and for some players maybe on Bread and Soul. And because of these reasons maybe I didn't play that much lately and maybe I will not play that much on these days. Maybe it will take some time until I can feel like I want to play more. So I will begin to talk about these points as fast as I can and let's say everything about it the biggest reason i didn't play that much lately on the game is actually because i am annoyed and when i say annoyed i am annoyed a lot of a lot of things on the game from every direction not just from what the blood and soul did as an example or what players do or whatever how it's ruined for me as i am playing or all of this but actually from a lot of things maybe not just this but maybe a lot more so actually away from I have some problems at the moment a bit because I have here some actually hard to make videos in general and maybe some other points like I have my brother here come play with me I want to play FIFA as an example so let's go to play FIFA so it's like ah, okay Blade and Soul daily uh, ignore I don't need it who cares about this even when I am trying to play actually you will find my brother's kids here like we want to play come play with us all of this and because I actually got taken it and it's more better than Blood and Soul, that's something we can't even deny this. So I'm going to play Taken actually a new game and I want to play it and I was waiting a lot for it. So I will have to play it and make uh, some videos for it. Even I don't have that much time to make videos for it, but I will try to have my time and try to do this. So I am trying to play so I get my these kids just come play with me please, come they come we play i begin to learn something here or or a lot and they begin to learn also and we play and all of this away from this points let's talk about the main things on bread and soul what made me annoyed from bread and soul away from all of this that made me not or can't play that much so easy but the most important points i can say is because things in the game is not easy to be played from the start what do you mean by this as example i want to get my items and i want to get my belt i want to get my necklace i got my bracelet okay so if i want to do this what i need to do i need to play stage 2 or stage 3 for something like frost fire foundry okay so if i want to do this i normally someone like myself have to play stage 3 or stage 4 that's something normal and that's what i should aim for but when I go to stage 3, actually I did some players and they playing, we do mechanics, or they do mechanics mostly because I'm tenting most of the time, they do mechanics wrong or sometimes even doing the right, but made some mess up, so we did wipe because of this. And after you did wipe, maybe someone, oh, well, you are not doing too well, you are not playing too well, how you did this, you made my arrow move uh, in, right, in the wrong direction whatever you will see a lot of whining from every player maybe playing so actually most of this problem came from where came from two points and that's something you also you have to understand because there are some problems coming for the new players because of these two points as well point number one dungeon is actually a bit hard or uh, or i can say really hard stage series is not hard for myself at least if i will play it alone if i can do every mechanics i can say it's not so hard the problem is ruined for this unnecessary high hp for players to play dungeon like this so if i will say sandwani abyss as an example i'm ruined for stage 3 it's okay you can do it but for new players actually they have a lot of hard time to play this and the problem coming from the high HP, like 300 billion HP for an, a stupid boss and you need to get every item from him on this stage and also you need to go for stage 4 later so you can make the 3 pieces that I even don't have, okay? So if you want to do this, normally you don't need more than 14k and need some good players to play and that's it. But what will really happen is not that. Because players are mostly scared from losing and dying and making too much time uh, lose for just clearing once or twice or three times or whatever how much they want so i will ask for 17k i will ask for 18k 19k whatever just to finish an easy dungeon and what that will make will make new players can't even play if i will say stage 4 not for new players that's something okay for stage 3 
as an example my first semester with 90 can do it and I, it should have no, or she have no problem to finish this but what really happened I tend to go there because of this point I just have 90 okay from where I can give you more attack power or most both attack power and actually it will make no different and that's the main point most of players don't even understand like 2k both attack power even will not do anything what will do more is your gears and how much pluses you have on your gears so that's what you need to look on and also if you have stilled or you are stilled enough or that's an alt for anyone that's mean you can do this just you need dbs enough to do this on the easy way and that's it whatever you don't need so much like i saw some players was aiming for just stage 2 which is super useless you can do it uh, even with 7k or 6k maybe characters for characters like 6k you can do it but you see some players like asking for 10k 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 for this are you kidding me 10k you can finish three stage 3 with it it's not for stage 2 stage 2 is useless you can you don't need all of this so the same will go also for the f f frost fire also for foundry because of these points frost fire foundry as example so is a dungeon and everything okay maybe driving having a bit problems i don't feel it's that big problems but the main problem is the damage reduction is too overpower it need a bit of nerf like i don't do mechanics on stage 2 as a example or i do, uh, for new players especially don't do anything maybe they don't know how to drive so they will go just attacking they can't finish or even if they finish will finish barely after seven minutes maybe after six minutes after whatever the number so they will take too long and even if they meet as a drive wall maybe they will finish light on five or six minutes so it's actually too much so if i will play as a example for myself round for stage three and I want to finish normally with a normal party can do like 13k plus not something too big actually will have some problems like maybe I will go for the phases like three times not going for just two but maybe three times if I have some root party maybe I just do it once and half maybe from the other phase but what that will make for you as a player will make you need to play the easiest way and will not go for the hardest way so that's I mean that will affect you as a new player and for myself as a former or as an older player and playing for a long time but just to have 15k as an example on both attack power away from all of these gears and all of these states which is actually the game not even telling you the right thing when you press f2 like if you compare f2 to my p you will find a lot of different things let me show you this part first as an example my critical here is 20 here is 90 okay 99 that's okay but not a bit far okay if i will take a lot on attack power there is some small different if both attack power small different from some time it was a bit different by the way okay for my mystic there is at least 9k mystic lose here the different okay for the critical damage about 7k actually these numbers was before a lot lower when you can see this i remember i had once when you press f2 like more than 20 or 12k 12k mystic lower like okay you can't even make me understand how much strong is my party because of this and maybe i can't make this guy play as a example and actually he deserves to play because he have more damage so that's also a bit problem on the game on this and as i said there is something like i want to play stage 4 as example so i have to find a party better than 15k to play that's actually too much that's that's the first maybe reason made me get pissed on the last days i went once for stage 4 playing wanted to play i actually recruit for some players and we got something a lot of players more than 15k we went for the dungeon then someone oh you have a low damage uh, i will go then he left Actually, I wanted to block him and report him and everything I can do for him, by the way. Because I hate kids. I like some players to be men. I feel myself I can play. Play. If you go with some party, go with some party. But if you go in, you find yourself, oh, I can't. Don't run away, especially if still you can. 
If you can't, you can talk with others. Okay, guys, I see that the BSS example is not so good. So maybe we can call it a day. If we are going for three runs, let's just go for one run. It's enough because it will be hard for us to do this and go. But what will happen? No. Ah, uh, DBS is so low. Okay, I'm leaving. Then he quit. Okay? Or maybe just a press leave because someone did. I saw a lot of players like that. So, most of the problems not just going for, coming from the game, but the game, most of the reasons of this. And if I compare the new players compared to older players like from 7 years, sorry to say that, guys, but new players are really cute. Really, really cute. They depend on easy things to do everything on the gym, depending on high DPS to finish something so easy, depending on hard carry from some other players to finish, which it will make you not doing anything, depending on some cheating and XML for playing the game, like, ah, oh, okay, I will play, as example, musician, just pressing right click. Maybe some players not, not even pressing anything, just pressing the button and draw WC, and after this they bet, oh, I cleared the dungeon, I'm so good. So, because of this, most of players not having any skills, just playing the pressing right click, sleeping, maybe as they are playing, and nothing more. So, when they get any hard problems or hard dungeons or anything like this, they are so easy to run, not even thinking, not even watching videos, not even watching the mechanics. A lot of players actually are so light as this. And just don't play, okay, that's a new dungeon, I will give it a try. Okay, you don't know anything, why you are doing from the first place. You want to try, maybe you can finish it, okay, that's okay. But just tell me as example, as a leader. Sorry, I don't need, I don't know any mechanics, okay, my friend, just do that, or do that, or do that, or don't do anything, or that will be hard to tell you, just go watch my video as example, whatever. So, I can do something about it, but some players, you can find, it's just enter the dungeon, playing, don't have any clue about anything, okay, my friend, just go to stay here, do it like this, do that, do that, and that's what mostly I do, like, um, once I have someone don't even know how to stay far, that's actually what I should do to you. <laughs> it's kind of hard even to understand how I can tell him stay far. I told him stay on this point, don't move, and mark it on the map as example on this point. Okay, just stay here, fight the boss, boss will jump to you, then we'll come back to the tent. Okay, that's so easy. Just stay here to not lose and take the mark as example, that's on frost fire founder as example okay and after i after i tell him this i found him under the bus with a ranger character by the way so what <laughs> what i should do away from this still i'm trying and losing and maybe can wipe four three five one hundred even time and i don't have any problem and go if i just i don't have any time so maybe i will call it a day so early and don't not away from that, okay, I will try 1, 2, 3, 5, 10 times even, and everything will draw okay, but most of players don't do that, most of players don't even have the guts to stay a lot to play, and the biggest reason for this, and maybe that's the biggest reason also for some players, do not even help the new players, because the game makes the numbers too big for even normal players, or even Maybe I can say whales sometimes. Like, I am putting, as an example, some items, like what the game is doing. I'm putting them on a stage 2, 3, and 4. Until 4, I need, as an example, soul shield or whatever. There is some item dropping, as an example, and I put it on a stage 4. Okay, stage 4 needs some super high geared players to do this. And how you can get super high geared if you tend to have a gear to make you go for this far, by the way, from the start? Like, as an example, as I said, stage 4, for me it's not super hard, but if I want to do this like 30 times so I can get my soul shield, it will be so hard for me. So, if numbers don't get down, that will make it a lot easier for me so I can play. Because at some points, when you find yourself against the wall, and super hard to, to even crash this wall or go after this, so you'll find yourself, okay, I will not even play this game, quit, maybe delete it. Because I feel like it's not even moving from here, okay? So, that's a bit problem I see coming from the game. As example, stage 3 on Sandwani Abyss, 300 billion, okay? When you go for stage 4, 
you will find like you went for another level and another wall level and that's actually not deserved to be on stage 4 it deserved to be on stage 5 or whatever like i'm going from 300 to 650 really more than two times the dps was two times the hp from the boss from stage 3 actually that's too big number and actually don't even get any sign from stage 3 make you can double your dps to do this so actually it's not making any sense when they made the hp increase and that's and because of that most of players can't even aim for soul shields and because they can't even aim to soul shield they will have a lot of problems on the next dungeon which is frost fire and as example the same will happen on frost fire so you will have a hard dungeon hard time on the next dungeon whatever what it what it is so all of this coming from the hp and because of the hp and the problems coming from all of this that will make you as a player hard to even help new players because you can't even finish it with the good players how you will do with the new players kind of so hard when as an example for myself when i want to help someone i help it on something i can do it but when i tend to do it no way i can help anyone like if anyone now asked me tom please help me on stage 4 i would say no way i need some good players if i can feel like i can do it with a good three players and they have good three players i will take anyone i don't care even if he will die or stay out whatever what he will do I, if i can do it with three i will do it and carry him but if i can't do this nothing will do for me so i can't help him i can't go i can't even try to help because i can't if something normally it's okay i can help on this or on this whatever not something maybe can be a problem for me if something on low stage like stage two whatever but when I'm going for something, I can't even do it, or I can't even have a good party to do it, that will make a problem. And that's most of the problem for the new players, because they have low gears in compared to the dungeons, and even if not low, most of players feel they are low, so I will not go with you on this dungeon. Away from the new players, a lot of them don't know how much it will need for this dungeon, that's something normally, maybe all of players when with they was new have the same problems that something okay but actually when you ask for something you have to ask for something you even understand how much big on or how much is your dbs is doing and that's actually i said on the advices for the new player so you can achieve this video if you are a new player and want to understand this point okay and also for the one who want to carry you or the one you are at least you are waiting for you to carry you or waiting to carry you actually maybe he can't do the things that you even want so it's not like he don't want to help you but actually he can't help you and maybe he will not say that but it's a real thing to happen okay like what i said maybe it's a problem going for the game for a lot too much hp or damage reductions or whatever they are putting on the bosses because mostly they don't now for the new bosses don't for damage reduction they have and when you abyss have too much damage reduction so you have to play when they doing the mechanics because most of players are skipping mechanics with dbs normally when you are doing for most of dungeons so i will give you damage reduction you have to do the mechanics okay so i give you too much damage reduction not even just the damage reduction but too much damage reduction and that's a big problem because it made the dungeon too super long like if i want to play something i feel like uh, okay it will spend like 15 minutes or something to just finish one or finish one dungeon and i want to play this one multi no i will not even do most of time as a example because asura is too long and bloodshed harbor i don't even look to them and play them away from they are important for myself but i even when i saw this okay it will take like 20 minutes maybe more no 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 i will not play ignore 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 so most of players will make it go for some stupid dungeons useless dungeons and even when you do this we will gain nothing so you don't even feel like you wanted to even play so mostly when i play and find something like this okay i played with that party didn't even finish or do anything actually make me angry and i'm beginning to feel so bad why i play blood and soul i would lose the game and play something else especially if it's a solo play in the game because i like to play solo anyway and that's it so all what i hope from being a steam in general to fix all of these problems like you have a community issue okay i tend to do anything about the community but i can do a lot of things about the game i want to make the game 
more clear for players that should be happen this part this dungeon as example needs that exactly and not as a third power but these items and actually put something really can make a different not anything like if i take a look okay as an example see this because you will feel like maybe you will feel what i am saying as an example stage 4 stage 4 you put it storm tide as an example on 16 and you put it storm tide necklace on 16 and all of this like you put storm tide here how storm tide will do on stage 4 it will never do anything okay same for storm tide air range as an example will never do here also battalion weapon plus 11 just a plus 11 will do nothing okay soul as an example same so all of these requirements that they put for the stages actually not a real thing like if, uh, if you are doing all of this first of all you will never have the city by the way at that power even i after all of what i did on the game i just have 550 or oh, sorry 5k and 500 okay so it's not something big and also with these numbers not even a logic that you will have this sa the same at that power so like they put it numbers randomly so it's not something you can even make use for it so you can understand anything okay so something like that need to be more clear something like that need to be more better also you have to put in your mind the new player more than the older player all the players if you put them even if stage 4 if it's so easy they don't really care about this because they will try to aim for something higher i can finish stage 4 so easy i will go for 5 i can finish 5 i will go for 6 finish 6 i will go for 7 i don't have any problem but the problem come for the new player i wanted to play stage 2 or i can't play stage 3 so i will just stay on stage 2 even if i play stage 2 that will not make me go anything higher away from just the 3 as example accessories there get, get my bracelet get my necklace get my belt then i'm stopping i can't do anything so i will have to play stage 3 so if i will do this and get my items and i can't play stage 3 you will never move and that's the main point you have to make things actually this item doing that much damage so when i give it to a new player having these gears it will make that much damage i have to make the next stage something closer to this but what you will do, it will make players just have to play and pay too much gold, to pay much money, real life money, so they can get their items or get some new items from whatever troves or whatever incend on F10, whatever, so they can even play these dungeons. And that's the main point that made the problem on the game. So, I hope that part is clear to everyone and I hope the game do something about it because it's actually beginning to be really annoying and if I feel I will see this too much on the later days or the incoming days, maybe I will not even think about playing the game and I will forget about it because it's really beginning to be very annoying from every direction actually. Well, whatever. Sorry to make you or to give you some headaches, but that's what I felt anyway thank you for watching guys hope you liked the video maybe away from i expect some of you will press a dislike after all of what you heard because some players even press dislike not just on the video but but present dislike because they didn't like something about the game so actually put this aside this video is what i am doing is not about the game so if you will press light press it for me if you press this light press it for me as well <laughs> And thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.